Hello. Hold on a second. Here we go. Yeah. We're uh, going live now out onto uh, Facebook. I think we're going out on Facebook. Uh, is now streaming live on Facebook. Okay. And we are also recording. Okay. Got to make sure it's all going. This is a different thing that we do than usual. Uh, hold on a second. Let me do that too. And uh, let me just uh, lower that. And uh, hi, how are you? This is our uh, this is our little Monday get together, which I kind of like because it's a nice bunch of people, all uh, getting ready to join us. Uh, and there are people in the waiting room. Uh, there are four people right now in the waiting room, and I will say admit all. And let's see what happens here. Uh, here they come. There's uh, Steve Bender. He's in New York City, and there's Rick Sheckman. He's out in highly infected uh, Queens. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, and uh, 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 we have Lynn. Uh, you're down there in Southern California, Lynn? Uh, Northern, uh, near San Francisco. Oh, near San Francisco. Okay, and Andrew Deutsch out in Cleveland? Yep. Yep. Hello, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little tired lately. Just really tired. Well, you should probably check yourself into... Uh, the same well, place Trump goes to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Take a car ride around the block. <laughs> <laughs> Waved you all. Yeah. Uh, I think, it, I think what it's a fasc fascinating. What? The, the guys in the Secret Service agreed that they would take a president, uh, take a bullet for take the a president. Take a bullet, yeah. yeah. Take a bullet, for the, not from the president. Yeah, right. But, but, <laughs> and, and not a viral bullet. Yeah. Oh, well. I, I wonder how many of them would actually jump out of the way if they saw a gun. <laughs> uh, I think in his case, they probably push him in front of it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. Because I think uh, there was somebody in the Secret Service who said he really doesn't care much about us. He doesn't right. watch out for us. Several have said that. Yeah. Huh? But then there are also the people who just think he's God's gift to the world, and they're probably Secret Service too. So there's others. Yeah. yeah. Can, you imagine, can you imagine being saying you'll take a bullet for this guy? Well, uh, you know, I mean, hey, that's your job, you know, if you were the Secret Service. Yes, I, I guess. Which, by the way, it, people, Hope, Hope Hicks will take a bullet for him, I'm sure. Yeah, but know. people. That's not, that's, it wasn't a bullet she took for him, it was a mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> people wonder, you know, about the Secret Service uh, and they think they're like cops or something like that. They're actually Treasury Department. Right. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Counterfeiting in the president. Counterfeiting in the president. <laughs> I think we have a counterfeit president. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was kind of my point. <laughs> did, you, did you hear the person on Fox saying that it's, you know, now that because he got COVID, now, you know, that's good for him? It's relate now he can relate, he understands it better than Biden? He said that. <laughs> there was someone on Fox. No, no, he, no, Trump it, said it. Apparently, he doesn't understand it better than Biden because he wouldn't have taken that drive yesterday if he truly understood it. Right. You know. Nor would he be going home tonight, right? Well, but he wanted to let his fans see him. <laughs> but, but you see, here's what happened. Here, here's what happened. Who who is the head doctor? His doctor. Oh, well, this Conley guy. Oh, Maybe uh, Bots, I think. By the way, he, <laughs> he he's a uh, ophthalmologist. I osteopath. Mean, yeah. Osteopath. It's a he's quack. A, it's a quack. Yeah. He's an osteopath. Uh, doesn't know anything about this and is 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 considered to be um, uh, the head guy in calling all the shots on this. But the, here's the here's the interesting part. He is not um, a civilian. Right. He's military. He right. Is Navy. He's the he army or whatever. In, in Navy. 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 Space Force. Uh, Space Force. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 he's Navy. And Trump is the commander in chief. So he has to do whatever the commander in chief tells him to do. Yeah. So is it Trump calling the shots or is it his medical team calling the shots? Well, it, almost seemed, it almost seemed like Trump wrote the statements that they made yeah. uh, the last couple of days. <laughs> no, no question about it. And, and they wouldn't give up any of the actual diagnostic information because of HIPAA. Right. You know, so, or, any, or any of the women who now have coronavirus that work for him. 
Yeah. Yeah. So did you did you read did you read his tweet from this morning? Don't be afraid of COVID. Don't let it dominate your life. We have developed under the Trump administration some really great drugs and knowledge. I feel better than I did 20 years ago. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That proves it's all BS. He never had COVID. Well, I, yeah. There's a reason why he feels better than he did 20 years ago. And that is that 20 years ago, he wasn't shot up with steroids. Right. <laughs> no, it's the steroids that are making him feel like he's feeling, like he's feeling great. If, yeah. if he actually had any, if huh? he's taking any of these meds. Well, no, I think he had these meds. I mean, his his attitude was, I've had it now, and it's nothing to fear. Well, it's nothing to fear if they're pumping everything known to mankind into you. Yeah. You know. Yeah, or if Joe Biden just got out of his basement, he would have had it too by now. You know, okay. <laughs> He's yeah. still in the town hall tonight. No, no yeah, malaria well, drugs, though. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. I'll tell you what Cuomo did today, which was a kind of an interesting thing. Excuse me, I get a little lightheaded lately. I don't know. Well, why. he once more told our lovely mayor to go to hell, but that's another story. I, I get slightly lightheaded these days, and I don't know why. But hmm. um, uh, 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 Cuomo said today that he said he was going after the Orthodox Jews. He <laughs> basically, he's which I hate a, to say it, he should. He showed a picture of them in mass. Well, they don't go to mass, but I mean, on mass. Yeah. Uh, and um, there were a thousand of them there, all together, shoulder to shoulder, singing and dancing, singing and dancing, and shoulder to shoulder. Okay, no masks. And he said, This just can't happen. He says, And if you don't think it's social gatherings like this that can cause it, Look at what happened in the Rose Garden the other day. It's a perfect example of what happens if you don't social distance, if you don't wear masks, and the kind of super spreading that can take place. So, well, two blocks from my house is going on shutdown tomorrow or Wednesday. Really? What, the school? Like where I pick you up at the subway is it, going on shutdown. What, the subway is going on shutdown? No, the, the neighborhood. The neighborhood. Oh, okay. In other words, all the things have to close and yep. yeah. But you so guys were doing. So I don't know. My pool across the street is going to close because they have to have students that come from that zip code. But I don't know what they're. Are you happen. in one of the zip codes where you live? No. Okay. No, but it's two blocks away. Yeah. I, I think it's impossible from that rose garden nonsense that there won't be at least another dozen. Who tests positive? Every, every, oh, hold on a second, every, folks. Marjorie is asking. Says she can't get on. Oh. <laughs> right. Hold on. Excuse our, me. Our, for shorts. <laughs> we'll just speak amongst ourselves. We'll yeah. Stay in our who, who wants to be Alex? <laughs> well, at least he's got pants on. So I guess. Yeah, I was say. <laughs> <laughs> at least I have my long pants on today. <laughs> I'll just pretend, I'll just pretend I do. Yeah. Yeah. You know what would be ironic huh? <laughs> is that uh, you go if all the Republicans the on the judicial committee get get COVID and the Democrats don't show up, then they can't take a vote because they won't have a four error. It's possible, and also the there's there's a senator in Georgia. It's a a special election. If the Democrat wins, he gets seated right away. Same yeah. thing about Arizona. Mark yeah, there's two. Arizona. What I thought I put the thing up today and told everybody how to how to get there, but apparently I, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, it was on but, Facebook, Alex. It, it, it was, was on, on your Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, that's on it Facebook. was. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me just see here. It, it, it's there on Facebook. I just, you know, that's how Under Alex Bennett. I think you've met him, Alex. <laughs> Would you go here? You just check, check the Howard Stern website. Maybe it's there. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm special. <laughs> Alex emails me each Sunday to remind me of the link. <laughs> well, that's nice. He doesn't do that for me. Okay. No, he doesn't do it for me either. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got my link off the SiriusXM website. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me do this just so some people will know. Oh, I see. I just took it off a while ago or something. I don't know. It should be there. Yeah. It's not there. It was there when I clicked on it to come in. Yeah, that's how I got here. Well, it's probably new Facebook, you know. I think it's, on the, I think it's on the Lynn Samuels page. 
Oh, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. hold on a second. Post. Yeah. See if I can think of some more annoying people today. <laughs> yeah. Well, here she comes. Uh, uh, it's it's on the Trump 2020 website. Well, it's amazing that I've got to. I that we have to do it this way um, because. Um, are you there, Marjorie? It's on the Make Alex Great Again website. You have to turn the <laughs> audio on. Anyway, so I, you know, I mean, I just think that uh, his attitude that, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's simple, it's no problem, you know, it's really, it's nothing. Yeah, look at all the medical help you've had. I wouldn't get those drugs. If you were, if you were living in a giant house where they're going to give you all those drugs and... Yeah, sure. It's not, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And he's in a room with a chandelier, crystal chandelier. <laughs> oh, it's a little shameful going on that socialized medicine. Yeah. Yeah. At the one at the one place where they don't treat people with bone spurs because you can't get in there and have them. Oh, by the way, Trump's home is in one of the shutdown neighborhoods. Oh, is it really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right down the yeah. Which town in Florida? Yeah. No, no, no. The, oh, the one he was born in, or oh, raised in. Yeah. He was born. But he moved in, to. He li well, he was born in the house behind that one. Which was <laughs> the. Uh, I thought it was a manger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you know, I the other day a friend Patrick Blazik who was saying I, I, he didn't like the idea that people were seemed to be relishing in uh, in Trump getting sick, and uh, I am. Well, <laughs> I don't believe he's ever been sick. The, well, best, the best line was, was, was... I don't think we would feel this way if all along he had taken this seriously. Of course right. not. You he's know, an asshole. This uh, is and, 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 and yeah, and so when this happened, our attitude was, well, what did you expect to happen? I mean... Well, was, everything that goes around comes around. He was <laughs> really trying really hard to do it. Yes, he uh, was. You know. I wish him. I wish him a very lengthy recovery. Yeah, I know that's what they said on Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want him. I don't want him to die. I want the. I want them out waiting outside for him when he steps out at twelve oh one on uh, I'll take the the yeah. January twentieth. I'd like him to die. I, mean, I'll, 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 I vote death. No. I'm with Marjorie on this one. Now here's yeah, the I thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If 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 time. Pence becomes the candidate and Pence loses, they're all going to say, "Well, you know, Trump would have won." They just yeah, have Pence. Let him stay at all. He's got to stay in office to face justice after he loses. Yeah. yeah. But Pence and could not be candidate were something to happen to Mr. He, Trump. He's, he's got to lose by a huge margin so that the American people can say, we we rebuke this miserable son of a, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's and, not and going to there's no, he can't become the martyr. All I, that, none of I that. He's got to live. Well, he, I, our martyred president. <clears throat> I want him fully awake and cognizant that he lost. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's basically it. Yeah. I'd still push the button right now. Huh? <laughs> I, I agree. I I'd agree. push the button right now if I could. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, he's too late late for him. He needs to on... suffer like he's made us suffer. Yeah, but he's a yes, blight. Exactly, he's, so. he's just a blight, and I don't want to hear it anymore from oh. him. Yeah. You're being but, but who? I, I, I but don't, doesn't everyone everyone agree that the greatest thing ever with the Proud Boys is what the what the gay men have done? He's doing now. What? 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 I, I want to give every uh, this this gay uh, all of the, these gay men stole the hashtag Proud Boys and created this association of gay men called the Proud Boys. <laughs> <laughs> they're all over the internet and they're yeah, they're all over the pictures of them in American flags or whatever. If, <laughs> I want to give every one of them a big hug. They're my, they're my new they're my new heroes. Wow, this is <laughs> this is terrific. Yeah. I love it. It's just like when they showed up at the, the God Hate Fags rallies with the angel wings to block the view. Yeah. It's, it's like the way the TikTok kids. I love, I love those guys. Absolutely. They're heroes. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so, it, you know, I mean, I, 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 as I say, I don't wish him uh, ill health. I wish him. I do. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I he do. wishes us ill health. He, 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 would, he would kill all of us. <laughs> he sure didn't care about the health of those secret services. Won't go to jail when it's all over. What? Yeah. He won't go to jail if he's in ill health when right. he's in office. Wouldn't you rather see him in San Quentin than? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. If, if I knew that was the ultimate outcome, yes. But I don't. I don't. Oh. He'll, he'll get away with it. He'll get away with it. Yeah. Well, he's managed to get away with everything most right. of his That's life. 
you what know. reason is there to believe that he will ever get his just desserts? Other I mean, than he Cohen? learned he learned well from Cohn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, theory, you never admit you're wrong, and you never, you know, tell people what's really going on. Well, I always tell you, there's, you know, two shiny balls Cohen. in one hand hmm? while he's robbing you with the other hand. Here's his new jail cell. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's a close-up. <laughs> but you notice also that and here's after talk about his wife <laughs> and her battle with COVID. Because yeah, who cares about the hooker? Right. And yeah. <laughs> By the way, she said the next person to call her that's getting sued. Yeah. Have you heard a recording of her saying "fuck Christmas" and "fuck"? <laughs> that? Yeah. <laughs> sure, but I, yeah. <laughs> But, but, There's your war on Christmas, guys. You know they always they always say they're going to sue somebody and they never do. Until Bill well, Maher. Until Bill Maher. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, they 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 threatened him. That was a cease and desist or something like that. Or you know he if he had gone on and apologized, they would have not gone ahead with the and suit. The, and the suit was because Bill Maher said he was <laughs> half a ragged. It's wonderful when you have to go on and say, I am not part of orangutan. I'm not going on. Yeah. But I'll prove but, it in court. But, but Trump has done 40 years. He threatens to sue you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people stand down and other people just are like, yeah, screw you. Yeah, come after me. Go ahead. Excuse then me, it goes away. You laugh so much, I have to go to the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> her Don't age, take the camera with you. <laughs> at her age, she has a tendency to pee her pants. <laughs> well, thanks for letting us know. Yeah, if you're you, can this out. you know you're recording this right now. <laughs> yeah, I know you're recording this. I'm making sure I'm recording it. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be on YouTube in a couple of hours. Yeah. yeah. I asked this the other night on the on the show, and it's kind of an interesting question about how did you feel when you first heard that Trump had COVID? I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. I didn't you know, believe it. You know, you know what's amazing about this? This is how uh, reliable the president is to us, that he can get a horrible disease and we don't believe <sighs> it. Yeah. I believe it because he's lied so many times. Yeah. You but know, the real, I, I, the real... was talking, I was talking, I uh, did an interview ah, yes. on tomorrow night with uh, <laughs> Steve Kravitz, and he, his first reaction was, do you think he really has it? Yeah. You know, and I went, yeah, he's got it. You know, I mean, I, I just you know, don't think that everybody at Walter Reed Hospital is in <laughs> cahoots with him. <laughs> if he's the president, they have to do know what if he he's says. He knows doctors. <laughs> Well, His main well, doctor is the one that said that he was not overweight last year. Yeah. <laughs> you notice he hasn't brought Anthony Fauci in to verify any of this stuff. You don't hear Anthony Fauci Well, at Anthony all. Fauci wouldn't be part of this anyway because he's not... Uh, he's not a medical doctor, I don't think. not a think. medical doctor. But he, uh, he is a, an expert on, on, on viruses. Virus. Yeah, but um, he's not an expert on how you cure it. In its, in, that, in its that, medical. But he also is the person that we would believe. Hmm? They know that masks works. But the real, the real talking point is the guy who says that he can make us safe in the suburbs can't even make his own house safe. Right. Right. That's the that's the talking point. It's it's proof of his inability to manage, his inability to lead, inability to tell the truth. Anything. Yes. Yeah. I've, been, I've, been very, I've been very proud of this happen. Monday show, though, because many times we never even talk about Trump. But, but you, uh, you can't avoid it this time. But also, what about Trump. not getting the timeline correct? <laughs> the phony doctor got one timeline. The chief of staff has a different yeah. timeline. <laughs> so, you know, they can't get you, the symptoms correct either. Then, would you, no. would, you, would any of you want to... They're mad at him in New Jersey because he went to New what? Jersey the other day fully knowing that he had been exposed and went and had a, had a fundraiser. He knew now before the debate. Tax hey, raise, the everybody who went to that thing. But everybody at risk. The family but apparently they will not give the government their phone numbers, you know, at his golf club for whatever reason. <laughs> Well, you know, he I, here's I, a list of who was there, but we're not going to tell you how to get in touch. He with refused that. to test at the debate because you already knew he had it. 
from the day yeah. before. You have people You're right. in the it was, Cleveland Clinic telling his yeah. family to put on their masks and they refuse to do it. Yeah, they refuse to do it. Yes. I see all these people around him that have it. I don't see well, how they, they, should have thrown them, has they should have thrown them out. If so should, he be, should he be prosecuted for assault and battery or whatever for yes. that? In theory, yes, yeah, but it won't happen. But you know, yeah. I mean, it, it took, the irresponsibility of behavior has continued even into his own illness. That's the problem. Well, you saw the creepy press secretary. She has it now. Thank you. Yeah, but you know, yeah, I, you, I was looking at the uh, at the video of the Rose Garden event. Yeah. And uh, to begin with, uh, uh, young Ben was there and some other little girls. So I wonder how they're doing. A lot of children were there. You know, yeah. and, 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 and. Here was the thing that got me. The one person who hasn't gotten sick so far, and he was in there hugging people, is Bill Barr. I'm oh, I wish he would get it. I'm waiting. <laughs> Barf? He'll get it. He's uh -huh. in isolation now. Is he in he's isolation? Yeah, he's in isolation. Bill Barf finally agreed. By the way, there's an F at the end of his name. I don't know if you know that. Oh, Barf. <laughs> Barf. Oh, Barf. Yeah. Well, he, uh, for he's old writers, he made Yes, Did you hear the story about this? I'm sorry, yeah. Rich. Yeah. I said the story about Guilfoyle and Fox News. What? Why she was she was fired because she was up on sexual harassment charges yeah. for yeah. for sh making her assistant see her naked and look at photos of genitalia of men that she'd slept with. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well documented in in uh, the I think it's the New Yorker and Vanity Girlfriend, right? Huh? That's Donald well, Jr.'s Jr. girlfriend. Jr.'s girlfriend. 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 Yeah. Our, our California governor's uh, ex-wife. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Newsom. Yeah. Well, I gotta admit, she is kind of a piece of ass. Who? I mean, she is. <laughs> yeah. But then she opens her mouth, and yeah. and it's just scary. You know. That that speech was classic <laughs> at the at the convention. Yeah. Yeah. It's the screaming <laughs> speech. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy! What? Tell me, I just I want I want this all to be over with, and I. But want, you know, thank God, Baron is okay. okay. <laughs> Are you sure? It's the only child they've mentioned, by the way. I don't know if you noticed. What? That uh, the only child of Trump's they've mentioned tested negative was Baron. Yeah. We haven't heard anything about the other ones. Oh, yes, they did. They said that, well, they they said said they, that um, so Ivanka far, and her husband tested negative. Ivanka is tested negative, and so and is And her husband, Jared yeah. Kushner. And, uh, but I don't know about the other children. When are you going in for your test, Marjorie? Which test? The COVID. Oh, I'm going in Friday. Oh, OK. So I'll, I'll know by Monday whether I have it or not. <laughs> Yeah. I have to prep for a colonoscopy. What? I'm having a colonoscopy next week. Oh. Well, That's you. why they're doing the COVID on Friday. All right. If if the light shines out your nose, they went too far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're doing the colonoscopy up your nose. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just put for, me for out. Trump, it's a closer path. I don't know why why doctors give this when they do colonoscopies. How many here have had colonoscopies? Come on, you've all had them, right? Yeah, of course. Um, they make some people drink a gallon of this stuff. Some are revolting. You know, all you have to take is this thing called, I forget, remember what it's called, I take it in lemon flavor or cherry <laughs> flavor and it's about that big and you just drink the whole thing and it doesn't even really taste yeah. bad. Well, I mentioned that I to, to do. my doctor, but she said that I didn't come totally 100%. Oh, I, but I do that, and every time I my doctor comes in to tell me, you know, you're really clean inside. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> you know, I, I, I wasn't, and that's why she's making me take this stuff and mix it with Gatorade. I mean, I want to get a little, yeah, you know, I a little like Gatorade. When, when you get these oh, the, the electrolytes. When you get these things that say, I voted. You yeah. Know, I want one that says, I got my, col my uh, colonoscopy, colonoscopy, and I was uh, clean. I Alex, what I do is I take what the doctor tells me and I swallow six coins and turn it into a treasure hunt. <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to do, I uh, often said what I wanted to do was get a uh, colonoscopy, okay, a cystoscopy, which goes in your penis, uh, and a 
uh, what's one that goes down your throat? Endo. And endoscopy. 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 And have them all do it at once. Get it over with. Have them do it at once and see. <laughs> we'll do it at the same time. time. If when they do it, they can see each other. Well, I had the endo and the colon the same time. I did the first time. Because usually they don't we, do them both. It was a week the before time. they shut everything down last March. Oh, really? Okay, I got my uh, my uh, prostate. It was when you were going in the hospital for something too, Alex. Yeah, well, you know, your when your the prostate seeds. I got it a week. Yeah. Actually, I was supposed to get it a week before, and it was held off a week. And then I got it, and then a week later, they closed everything down every closed operation. down every operation. So yeah, I'm very lucky I got in under the. No, way. I'm lucky because actually, when I went in, the doctor's there, and I said, "I would shake your hand, but I'm sure you're not comfortable if I shook your hand." You know. Oh, okay. Before yeah. you do it, you know. Yeah. Uh, how uh, how uh, did you did he tell you how clean you were inside? He said it was perfect. Oh, okay. Fine. You know, yeah. see you in ten years. No, but you take this. You take, just take this little bottle of the citric citric uh, something. something. I got it from Amazon, of course. You know me. Yeah. But 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 Marjorie went out and got the stuff where she got to drink a gallon of the stuff, and that's no. Sweet. It was like first take a laxative of some sort. There was a pill, yeah. and yeah. then you take like the little bottle of whatever and mix it in the Gatorade and. Fine. You know what I had to do when I when I was getting my um, when I think when I got the uh, the seeds done I had to take I had to do that or I had to do this was it every time that I got my radi radiology or radiation treatments I can't remember but I got so used to doing this now that you can give me a col colonoscopy every week and I'm I'm, I'm okay with it you know doing I, what huh doing what cleaning yourself out. Remember I had to clean myself out every, every, every morning. I had to do a, a, a an enema, I think. And well, then it, you could be in porn if you, if you cleaned your <laughs> root route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, Marjorie, when people go to the hospital like to have a leg amputated or something, they always mark, you know, this one and not this one. So just get, <laughs> get Alex to get a Sharpie and draw an arrow with, and just write drill here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to make sure they get the right place. Well, there's, uh, in her case, well, they maybe, mark it. That's why they mark your legs and your arms and wherever. And you they do the same. Get Alex to mark you for the colonoscopy. <laughs> you know what I have? You know what I have? I have t uh, t four tattoos on my, two on my belly and <laughs> one on my side. And what it is is they, it, and you can barely see it. It's, it looks like a little, just like a pen mark. Uh, and they did that so they can aim the radiation. Mm -hmm. giving you radiation. So I have a permanent, and I said to them, I said, well, I guess I can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery because that's the best joke to tell. And they said, no, it's okay because they say that it's being done for medicinal reasons or whatever. There's a reason. And so therefore, you know, you can be buried in a Jewish cemetery. And I would, and, and they were tears. serious in their reply. Do they, do they have that in writing? <laughs> What, from an Orthodox Jew? No, from the, the man himself. Oh, the man himself. Oh. <laughs> you should have heard Tomo blasting the Orthodox Jews today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was telling them before you came on. It was good. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, she calls me in. She says, look at this. And I look at it, and it's this picture of all these Orthodox Jews, all with their... Like a thousand people. And, the, and their long coats and all of that, you know all like a thousand of them he said there were a thousand in the picture yeah. all just in on top of each other not wearing masks you know and as a jew i'm allowed to say i think they're dreadful human beings i you agree know. they are I agree. but i'm not going to say it completely because the people who own this building but what como said which was funny, i don't think there are i don't think our guys but, are but, Co but what como said which was interesting he said well the rule is 50 people 50 or less you could have it he said, well, if somebody came in at 55, you know, I'm not going to make a big deal about it. You're still said, supposed to wear a mask. These people, it, they were a thousand. Yeah, but you've got to wear a mask. That's the thing. You know, I mean, right. if you have 50 people in a room, you can still get it. Yeah. You know, but if you're wearing masks, if everybody's wearing masks, your chances are mitigated. You could wear a well, yarmulke, you could wear a mask. Well, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You uh, know, Wednesday, I had a, put the Yamaha on DC. But I do it, you know. What? On Wednesday, Alex, I had to go to Washington, D.C. for a meeting. 
So I, I woke, left the house at four in the morning, drove six hours. Mm -hmm. The place is empty. The, the parking garage that I would go to is usually 60 bucks. It was 12. Wow. The floor I parked on, it was me and one other car. Usually it's packed. Wow. And on the street, you just see a scattering. One guy without a mask, everybody else. The streets yeah. are empty. You can get in and out of town without any traffic. It's, wow. uh, it's a ghost town. New wow. York, too. Well, New York is still a ghost town, isn't it? You, you went to work today. Yeah. How quiet is it? Yeah, but mid Manhattan, you see a handful of, of people. But what's really sad are those little takeout places where you go for your lunch and bring it back to the office. Half of them are gone, just gone. Yep. Because, you know, I go to my, uh, uh, my, uh, whoops. What's somebody calling for? Get that. Uh, everything goes off all at the same time. My, That's my true. phone went off, my iPad went off, my watch went off. Oh, and my computer itself went off. Anyway. You're the tech guy. Yeah, huh? Orthodox yeah. rabbi is out. Anyway, uh, uh, I I take a, uh, <laughs> a, a what do you call a lift to go to my dentist, and then I don't want to pay another thirty five bucks to go home, so I go a couple blocks down the street, and there's the <laughs> M two, which is an express bus that takes me right to my front door. It's a limited. Well, I'd be normally afraid to do that. But you know, you you have a mask on and you're you're ready to go. I got on the other day, almost all the way home until I got to like 110th Street. I was the only guy on the bus. Yeah. Only person. Can you imagine that, Rick, in New oh, York, being the only person more. on the bus? <laughs> no. You know. But I saw a picture. I think it was Saturday at Grand Central Terminal, empty. Empty. Wow. <laughs> No one's there. Uh, well, it, it, there's something nice about that, isn't there? You know. I guess, but you know, I'm supposed to be in Italy today. Well, I'm here in Queens. <laughs> yeah, and you ain't going to Italy anytime soon. I'll have a pizza sent to you. Yeah, isn't it? Are they having problems again in Italy? It's getting bad. They're having spikes. Yeah, Spain. But you know, my silent film festival, and they're streaming the films this year so i can uh, sit here and watch them yeah but it's it's the, silent the only well they know they have music accompaniment of course yeah i know the only problem is they do an introduction where the fellow who's now the director general is going around different places in porto noni and it's like oh yeah i would be there today oh i would you know mm-hmm almost like jay would you stop showing the video of you standing you know at the pizza place or the gelato joint or whatever you know yeah uh, are there been any good movies yeah i watched a very good chinese silent from 1935 this morning oh really oh, okay. and then tonight's a sesu hayakawa film from 1921 oh wow but actually yesterday they were running 68 millimeter films from 1897 that were travel logs around Europe. Oh, really? And the video quality was just spectacular. Oh, I, I would like to watch that. I, I tried to sign up for that, but I couldn't. There was a problem or something. A few people have had problems, but you know, I, got, I was able to get them in. Yeah, well, I was having trouble because there was something where I tried to pay for it or something, and I it wouldn't, it, 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 it was all in Italian. I couldn't understand. Well, what... no, there's an English translation. If you like, dude, there's like a pull down that yeah. makes it in English. Yeah. But speaking of silent films, it, uh, last night I was watching uh, because they were running it on TCM. Oh, no, I was watching it this morning uh, when I got up. I uh, was uh, Buster Keaton's Seven Chances. Oh, God. I just love that film. I love mean, that. it is just unrelentingly funny. It's a great well, it, was, it was his birthday yesterday. Yep. It was his yes, birthday. that's why they were doing it. They had Sherlock Jr. on. They had uh, The General. And then uh, some of the sound films. Yeah. And yeah. it was Groucho's birthday this week, too, right? 130. I think Thursday or Friday, yeah. Some, yeah. somewhere this week. But, yeah. Um, um, this, you know, it, it, this is the movie where he has, what, uh, at least 100 women dressed in bridal gowns chasing yeah. him down the street? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, it is just hilarious. Genius. Genius. And um, 
uh, the, the the final scene where he's running down the hill and the boulders are all chased. Oh, yeah. oh, I mean, just just great work, great work. I mean, I love the general and so on, but that film in particular, for some reason, well, you know, the general eventually is going to be banned because he's a confederate. Yeah, in it. Yeah. yeah, I see. Spoiler alert. Well, you know what's funny in this film? The silent film, right? And he had a lot of black people in it. Like you know, one woman he comes on to, he suddenly realizes he's black and goes, oh, I can't do that. And uh, then there were some other people who were black. But then there's one other person who plays a black person who helps him out with something, and he's a guy in blackface. Yeah. Why all of a sudden, after you've hired all these other black people, do you suddenly think blackface is a good idea? Was it no a, answer. Was, no it a, answer. Speak, was it a speaking role as opposed to the others? No, it was a, no, it's a oh, silent oh, film. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, none of them were split speaking oh. roles. Uh, but, well, he was finding a role for one of his pals to get a day check. Yeah. You know what I found out the other day, uh, the other night, um, on uh, Saturday nights, I get together with a couple of people who call the other show, um, uh, Patrick and J Josh and Kevin. And we just sit there and talk for a couple hours to each other about one thing or another. And Josh is very good at politics and so on and about the history of politics um did you know that lincoln the second time he ran did not run as a republican no he ran no. Under, he ran under the union party because the republicans ran sherman but after sherman's performance in the war they decided it was a bad idea and at the last minute like in october they made lincoln their their nominee even though he was running at that time for re-election under the union party i never knew that that's so, interesting no so when the republicans say we're the party of lincoln not really and also lincoln was not that popular a president at the time right right but he got the nomination away from sherman because of, Sh of Sherman's involvement in the war or something like that. So uh, that's how he got elected to a second term. If he hadn't gotten elected to a second term, he would have lived a long life. He wouldn't have gone to the theater. <laughs> he wouldn't have gotten the free tickets. Right. <laughs> but I found that fascinating. Is that something, I mean, how many of you knew that he didn't run as a Republican for his second term? No, but it's also not the same Republican right. Party well, yeah. was in the sixties. That's what we were talking about. Was that you know how they keep saying, "Oh, we're the we 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 freed the slaves." Well, mm -hmm. not really. It's not the same party today that it was when you know when Lincoln got in the, Lincoln was president. Lincoln was president. Yeah. In fact, if I remember correctly, he was the first quote Republican president. Lincoln. Yeah, because before that it was a Whigs or whoever. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was a, new, a newly minted party, and he was the nominee, and he wound up winning. You yeah. Know. Uh, you know, and nor is the Democratic Party the same, quote, Democratic Party it was in right. that era. Right, right. Uh, it's a, the Democratic Party is in the same party it was back in the 50s when you had the Dictocrats. Oh, fled know. and became Republicans. Right. That's why he became a Republican? They all fled and became Republicans. Oh, they all yeah. fled and became Republicans. Yeah. 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 There wasn't room for racists in the Democratic Party anymore. It, it, yeah. They, they yeah. But I mean, and it, they started their own party. We would have actually a three party system now. Well, I, I just, I, I don't know that I'm that fond of parties. I think that this has become, gotten a little out of hand. But a three party system would level that out. It would just, well, no, it wouldn't. It would just make things more confusing. No, because you would have to make agreements with a party in order to get the popular. That's if you get a parliamentary system. You'd end well, up with never have. having a majority. We do have more than one, two parties. It's just that the other ones just never have a chance, you know. Oh. When it's debate time, they got to sit at the little kids' table. Yeah, they don't you get know. invited. I still say if Ross Perot had gone he might have won. Is there, what did you, know. you say? Shaggy? I said they have a bunch of gadflies as candidates. That's right. What were you going to say? The Green Party. Can you tell me? 
Can you tell me who's running on the Green Party this year? <laughs> no, I can't. Who's run for office like 40 something times and lost every time? I could tell you because I've got our, I've, I've got our ballots over here somewhere. I don't know where you put them, Marjorie, but I on the ballot they have the Green Party candidate. I never right to the left of my keyboard. Yeah, you well, know, I never heard of him to save my life. Right. You know. Uh, so I mean, it, it, it just needs to be a better. You, and also, the other thing I don't get, okay, is that when we do primaries, we, we, the primaries are for the parties. Right. They're not for... It's not a general election. A general election, okay. So w do they hold a Green Party primary? No. No, they just pick up a phone and call yeah. someone and say, do you want to run? Hawkins this year. <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is, why in the world should states like New York pay for primaries when it's a function that only is there to help the parties decide the party. who to nominate. Yeah. Shouldn't they pay for it? Yeah. Yeah. I want to bring back Lyndon LaRouche. That was fun. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lyndon LaRouche? <laughs> and they'll never take me alive. Yeah. Who was the guy who used to run all the time? They used to make Harold it? Stassen. Harold Stassen. Mm-hmm. He ran on the Republican Party, you know, never got nominated for president, but he ran every four years from 48, I think, on. Wow. Wow. And there was and I think he was a governor of Pennsylvania or somewhere yeah. like that. Steve, what were you going to say? I, I still occasionally, until recently, when I don't go to the subway much anymore, but there was always a LaRouche little thing in the Union Square subway, some crazy person manning science with Linda LaRouche stuff. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. You remember uh, um, uh, Pat Paulson used to run every year. Pat Paulson, too. Right. Yeah. Well, they ran once, which or was 68. This, yeah, but they kept putting him up anyway, even though I think even after he died. Yeah. I think he yeah. died. Yeah. And, and, and how, how screwed up this country is and how we don't take electing our leaders seriously. <laughs> well, they should make for, it mandatory. I can't remember how many, how many presidential elections. Al they should make Newman it mandatory. At least 100,000 votes. They should make it mandatory, and they should give a day off. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you remember who ran in 1940 for president? Well, well, not Wendell Wilkins or FDR. 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 No, Gracie Allen. Oh. What, ran for president? Yep. Well, how was that? It was on the surprise chick, the surprise party. Surprise party, <laughs> There That's is real. a surprise party, isn't there? Well, I don't know if there still is, oh, but no, she no. ran you know what a surprise it is? party. Do you know who adopted that? Is uh, what's his name? Kim Kardashian's husband. Oh, oh yeah, West. Kanye West. <laughs> he, he calls his party the surprise party. I thought it was the oh. birthday party or something like party. that. Yeah, a birthday party. But no, many, she ran many Republicans. You know, again, as a Pat Paulson candidate type thing he, in 1940. In all the states and stuff. Many, many Republicans who hate Trump and don't want to vote for Biden are going to vote for Kanye to get even for the, the tampering. What states is Kanye running in? It's only like three, I think. It's, it's, not well, a, a state of delusion, I will say. <laughs> hey, not on the Texas ballot. He, he didn't make it to many of the ballots, but they were running uh -huh. around. The, the Trumps were running around trying to get him on ballots. Right. Mm -hmm. so the black Democrats would vote for him. I don't know. You yes. know, I, I don't know that the black community likes him particularly. No. There's a few outliers, but most most of that community are well educated voters and, and choose who's good for their, their, their needs. Yeah. It's it's silly that it's insulting to think that you could just put some rapper up and, and yeah. you know, black people are gonna be oh my god, he looks like us, we're gonna vote for him. That didn't know how it worked. Well, you know what they say, they go, why don't we run Oprah? And I'm going, haven't you learned about hiring for president people who had done a TV show? I mean, come on, yeah. <laughs> you know. But also, why would she want to be president? She's got more money than God. Yeah. And why, why did Trump want to be president? No, I mean, he, he did. Well, he's, got a different, he's got a different ego and wanted to stay out of jail. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think he did. So he has no money. That's the I other think, thing. I honestly believe that if he hadn't run for president, he would be in jail right now. I wish. 
Yeah. It, you know, and if he's so wealthy, why does Biden have more money at the moment for his campaign? Because didn't Trump just use his own money four years ago or claim to? Well, well so he yeah. said, so he said. But so he know. said, exactly. Yeah. You see, but he didn't have to use much, Shecky, because the press gave him so much free publicity. Free press. Yes. But he didn't have his, <coughs> he didn't have to spend money. Yes. His whole message was getting. Well, involved. he was Gracie Allen. You know, it was like a joke. You know. Well, it was a joke until it wasn't a joke any longer. You know. Yeah. You know, no, but it was a joke with the press that uh, the apprentice guy's running for president. <laughs> I love you know. the story about Marjorie the night of the election when she was she was she goes to sleep at nine o'clock every night, so she wasn't up to see what was happening. And I wander in there about midnight and she wakes up and she says, uh, well, uh, how did the election come out? And I said, Trump won. <laughs> and she quiet for a second and she went, You can't right? <laughs> and I went, no, I'm not kidding you. And then her next words out of her mouth were, oh my God. <laughs> and by the way, Trump said the same exact thing, probably. Yeah. yeah. I would say so. He was probably- Oh, there's my news network I was starting exactly, the next day. Exactly. Exactly. Right. You know, there goes my next scam. <laughs> yeah. There goes my right. Russia hotel. What? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I mean, he just, he did it. It was going to be a money grab for him, you know? And yeah. yeah. Well, he's, he's ruined his brand, that's for sure. <laughs> Except to a lot of um, proud boys. He's, he's ruined the country. Well, yeah. yeah. You know what I watched last night also? And if you get a chance, it's very good. Uh, the, the Facebook, not Facebook, Showtime is doing a series on the comedy store. Yeah, I haven't oh, yeah. seen it yet, but it's like an eight-part series, I think, or something. Yeah, and the first part is like Leno and Letterman, and... Uh, I uh, thought we were going to watch that together. No, and you Dries, didn't want to watch I mean, it. And I'm sure it was in it. Huh? I'm sure Dries, Tom Dreesen was in it. Yeah, absolutely, Tom Dreesen. Because he's in everything that involves those things. Well, that's the reason I got to see Sinatra, was Tom Dreesen. He was working, opening as the opening act for Sinatra, and he said, because I had him on the show... Why'd you come down to the Circle Star? I'll give you a couple, I'll give you a ticket to come see it. And I said, fine. And he said, and I'll take you backstage and introduce you to Frank. Hey, uh, Alex, like, my, this my dad was at that show at the Circle Star. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want to hear something? I got to tell you a really quick story. He was sitting kind of near the. Uh, where let, they, let me finish. Let me finish my story. Go first. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. And uh, he was going to take me backstage. He said, I'd like to take you backstage, but Jilly. His best friend just died, and he isn't talking to anybody. Oh. And so I missed my chance to talk to Frank Sinatra in his later years, where he probably didn't remember he was Frank Sinatra. Now, what were right. you saying, Len? Yeah, no, I was going to say. So my dad was sitting sort of near the the uh, entrance where the where the stars come out, mm -hmm. and he got there early. It was quiet, so he, of course, had big bigger balls than I do. Walked into the backstage area, saw Frank's room. There was nobody in there. There was a beautiful bouquet of flowers with a with a card and a note in it. So he took the card and the note out and he put his card in with a note on it. <laughs> <laughs> and said, you have a great show, Frank. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of thing that my dad would do, but he loved oh, it. Love it. <laughs> yeah. but, but Tom Dreesen was in this documentary and uh, 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 Letterman is, sits for an interview in it. And Leno sits in an interview, but they don't sit together. Uh, Hey, I'm shocked. <laughs> says that Leno was the best comic at the comedy store. He said he was the guy we all wanted to be as stand-up. Really? Back in that era, he was. Yeah, yeah. I never uh, got him. Huh? Yeah, well, it's just strange that they both wound up opposite each other in late night for years and what was probably the biggest rivalry that ever went on there. No, he was an incredible stand-up and then became yes. a lazy stand-up. Mm -hmm. he, he was an incredible, he was so incredible that uh, my friend David Feldman and I went down to the Frost Amphitheater to see him perform. Uh, again, because he got his tickets. And we went there and we watched him, he did a two hour show. And wow. after it was all over, uh, uh, Feldman and I looked at each other and went, that, that was that was great. It was just absolutely spot perfect. He, the first half hour, he would do 
all topical material. And then he would go into the regular act. But you never knew that because at the top, he did the topical material. So you felt everything was new and fresh. But he went on for two hours. <laughs> That's a long time. Great. I used, to see him, I used to see him back in the day. And it's hard to convince people who only know him from The Tonight Show about how good he was as an early, his early stand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he was very good. You know, the early Letterman appearances, incredible. Yeah, yeah. Is, uh, is For about the first years of Letterman, and then it became this the lazy comic, I want to call it. But yeah. he's no Paulie Shore. Is David Feldman still around, uh, Alex? What? Is David Feldman still around? Uh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> he does, he does a podcast. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who doesn't? Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> who, who doesn't have a podcast? Anybody here want a podcast? I got some time. Yeah, on. Mine, mine launches next week. Oh, I got okay. one already. <laughs> I do a wine podcast. Do you do a wine podcast? I really do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, I turned on Leno after our fifth anniversary show at NBC, where we had him and Carol Liefer doing stand up. Yeah. And he was refusing to do the show if she was on it. Why? Because he was Jay Leno. And that's when he went out and did the laziest set I've ever seen. I don't know if that was on purpose or whatever. But he just went, I want to say, tanked it. Wow. Wow. And Carol, nice woman. Oh, I, oh, you know. Terrific woman. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, uh, it... Uh, but that it, was a period. He was already starting to yeah. guest host for Carson and blah, blah, blah. So he didn't feel he needed to, you know... But guess, Put out, who, so to speak. guess who on this documentary they say was the hottest comedian at the comedy store and led the way for everybody else? Bobby Slayton? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jimmy Walker. Uh, oh, Jimmy what? was great. Uh, you know, again, he, wow. we just think of him as kid dynamite. But oh. mm -hmm. well, what he did, what he did was he hired as his writers who? Jimmy? Letterman and Leno. Letterman and Leno were his writers. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And he's still part of Letterman's, can I call it, posse. You know, that little group that still, you know, it was George Miller, it was Dreesen, it was Jimmy, and it was Dave. Yeah. And, and, and Dave they would go to Dave's place in, you know, in he would, Idaho, you know, Montana or wherever the hell, it, you know. But he would have Jimmy Walker on and... Uh, who is the uh, who are the other? We had Jimmy Walker on until the final show at C, you know, the final yeah, week. Once a year. Yeah. Once a year. But on every year, yeah. Yeah. Also in Witherspoon. And that was the other one that Dave would always bring in. Yeah. And didn't Witherspoon get sick at one point? Who was, who was the comedian that got sick? Was it George Miller or was it? Miller. It was Miller. And, and not to, but Dave paid for all the bills. Yeah. Yeah. The hospital bills. It was George Miller. They were kind of a fraternity, that group. Yeah, the that Spoon, you know, when he finally passed away a year or two ago, He's talked about reverentially now, Witherspoon. Yeah, but here, but the thing was that. Um, uh, but but uh, these are the guys who every night would hang out in the parking lot drinking or whatever they would do. You know. What I found kind of sad was how Letterman and Lena wound up with each other in the end because they were so close at that time. I mean, the the dis and even he says it in his interview. Uh, looking now like he's John Brown, uh, he says, uh, you know, he says, we all, we, we all hung with each other. We were, yeah. you know, and that what they said was, and this is what's interesting in the documentary is the confluence of the Carson show and the comedy store. They both came into existence about the same time. And right. They, and what's his name would go to the comedy store and that's where he'd book the comics for yeah. Carson. Yeah. 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 So it's a very good documentary. I'll watch it again with you, Marjorie. Okay. You didn't want, you didn't want to watch it last. You never night. asked me. Yes, I did. I, think I said there's a. We you want to watch this thing about the comedy store, and you said, "Ah, eh, now I'll watch that." No, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. I did not. Are we going to argue in front of friends? Look that way. Are we, Mom and Dad, stop it. Are we, <laughs> the, are we like this a lot, Shecky? Yes. Oh, okay. I just wanted to know. Do you know how long has it been since I've seen you? Um, January, maybe. Wow. wow. And we used to see each other. Was I there? 
Well, no, I wasn't. I was in. I was in Antarctica on New Year's Eve, so I wasn't at the apartment that night. Yeah, so we. It's. It's so probably before. January when I got home. Maybe, maybe you know. But I mean, we used to see each other about every two or three weeks, you know. And yeah. And and now yeah. it's. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the way I get to see you. This doesn't count because everybody is flat. What? No. <laughs> No, Marjorie and I are lying in bed. <laughs> this counts when there's nothing else. If this was a letter Zoom, I would be sitting by the my actual computer in a chair. By the way, <laughs> if this were what I said, if when we do a Letterman Zoom of Letterman people, I would be sitting in a chair. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Probably. I wouldn't be lying in bed. In bed. You know. Right. Well, you know, it, it's a lot. So actually, I'm having dinner tomorrow night with Dave's assistant. Be my first trip wow. to Manhattan oh. since March. How, are you driving in or taking the subway? My friend Randy's going to uh, drive okay. in. Because I said to her, I said, "Do you want to drive? Are you driving in, or I'll take the train? I don't care, you know." Yeah. But we're going for pizza down in the village. Well, who was his outdoor assistant? dining? Who was his assistant? Mary Barkley. I don't think he knew Mary. No. no, no. He was one of my old interns. That that kind and of. And we always would get together every month or so so we finally getting together tomorrow night well, it's for dinner. interesting that 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 show produced a certain fraternity of people you know i mean you still oh, yeah. continue to all see each other it's, well, how many years now five years well we've been off the air for five years but we yeah. still you know if we weren't for this thing we'd have eight people tomorrow night instead of three you know yeah, exactly exactly so that's... it'd be a larger group of us instead it's just three of us sitting outside you know, having pizza. Yeah, before we go, Randy. Well, do you believe how this has upended like our whole lives? Like nothing will ever be the same, ever. It's all uh -huh. big. big well, but what was 1500s when we had um, the rat pandemic, whatever that sure. was? You know, I mean, the bubonic plague. The bubonic plague. This happened. You know, throw yeah. out your dead. Yeah, we yeah, don't have anybody going door to door here going bring out your dead you know i mean this is not the first time something like this has happened in this well, world I don't re in my lifetime this is the first time it's ever happened to me well if you were around in 1918 you would have lived through that one <laughs> true or and maybe that, not <laughs> bubonic plague it wasn't rats no it was rats no it wasn't bats nope what, what was it it was fleas cats it was fleas, fleas uh, that then bit the rats. Who bit the people? Who bit the people? Yeah. Uh, we would have known that today, and we would have just said, "Hey, rat poison might solve this." <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, you know, I, I'm not making light of it, but this has happened before in this world. I'm sure, but in my lifetime, it's the first time. Not your lifetime, but then, not that to get go in a different subject. What about the Holocaust? You know, and that was caused by well, men. To show you how it is here uh, today and how it's different is today we've got all this medicine to solve the problem. And it, this, so this one is more infectious than any of the others. We can't solve it. To, you know, uh, 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 Spanish flu came along. We'd be able to solve it much better than they did back then. But anyway, hey, listen, we've kind of run out of time. This is uh, been, yeah right. I love this little show. I really uh, do. Well, it's nice. ed ed edu educational. I've learned about fleas and Lincoln oh, yeah. and, <laughs> and Allen. Spanish, Spanish fly. It's amazing. <laughs> and about Marjorie's colonoscopy. And about Marjorie's. <laughs> uh, so uh, anyway, thank you so much, Steve. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, and thank you to uh, Rick. Always appreciate it, Rick. It's the only way I get to see you these days. Oh, I, yeah. I call you during the week, too, but I don't see you. Yeah. Although we could do it. I usually get the phone call after this to thank me for being here. So Yeah, right, right. Well, I'll do it now. Thank you for being here. <laughs> okay. It's always appreciated. Uh, Len, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Andrew, you're terrific. Charlie, you're oh, wonderful. Uh, to have around. You forgot me again. That's the second week. <laughs> I, I do. I said, I'm not coming back. That's the second <laughs> week you've done that. No, I was. A, we didn't I, do a show I, last week. <laughs> I was about to get to you. And thanks to Marjorie. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs>
Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Good one. Have a nice week. Bye. We'll see you all later. Okay. Bye. Bye. And uh, thank you all for having joined me as well. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me see here. Let me stop the recording. And uh, that's how we'll, uh, we'll end it. Ah, stop uh, recording. Stop video. Here we go. I got to figure out how to do that.